Hi guys. We're at the vet. Never a dull moment, apparently. My leg is not this dramatic normally. But Biscuit ate grapes. She's trying to kill herself, trying to poison herself. She had three grapes about three hours ago. So we're here doing like a, not the full on like check her to the hospital thing. We're gonna try and do a little flush with some charcoal situation. See how that goes. Hmm. Are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be okay? You tell the people? Okay, initial exam seems pretty good. She, um, normal temperature, heart rate was normal, her gums look good. <laughs> crazy? Are you a crazy girl? And obviously, like, she's acting normal and she's not vomiting, none of that. So, I think we're going to get lucky with this one. But I, the way this happened was I made, like, a little fruit bowl for Dan this morning. He put it on the nightstand. The maintenance people had to come over to look at a fuse box thing. So, Dan ran to the bathroom to, like, hide from them because he was like not dressed and stuff and I went to answer the door and in that time she gobbled it all up we think she even ate the stems so new rule in the house is we're just not gonna have grapes anyways I just told him I was like can we get like cantaloupe <laughs> can we get watermelon like there's gotta be plenty of other fruits strawberries and he agreed he was like you know it's just not worth it She's too crazy. She just she just got after it so fast. So there's a small chance that it was honey, but it's just not honey's MO to eat things off the table. Like she just doesn't normally do that. So we're putting our money on the biscuit. Oh, oh, oh. said she was the most calm dog all week in getting her blood taken. And I said, she's not supposed to be good at that. She's supposed to be good at not eating grapes. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, good point. So they're all super nice here and they've really kind of gone out of their way to see us super quickly. So I love that. This is a place called Pet Book. I think that they're a chain. I know they're in multiple states, so so far, 10 out of 10. Oh, and that reminds me, if you're wondering why we didn't just take her to her vet, who we love, um, he got COVID. So the office is basically closed. Go figure, right? She couldn't just eat grapes on a day when the doctor doesn't have COVID. That would have made too much sense. So I called them. They told me to call another place. That other place was, she was going into surgery and didn't want to wait told me to call another place, I called them, and they were like, we're more like an emergency room and she might not need an emergency room, call this place, it's more like urgent care. So I'm calling all the bed places, but I think the universe sent us to the right place for the right kind of care, so it was all worth it, all meant to be. She just ate all her charcoal. She thought it was delicious. <laughs> Yummy, wow, look at that, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, she gobbled up the charcoal. They had brought in like wet dog food. And I was like, hey, she eats this. And I was like, oh, not my favorite. But they just started putting the charcoal in the bowl and she was just eating it without the dog food. So she's a bit of a mess. And then, I don't know if you guys can see her new humpback. You see how that's going up like right along. Right, don't jump, don't jump, stay, 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 stay. Okay, there we go. You see how like, oh, like right through here. They did the subcutaneous fluid. So, 
but she's getting lots of compliments because she's like so good. I think it's because like I just butts with her a lot. Like I'm always like combing her, like looking at her teeth, playing with her paws. And so she's just used to being like touched. Um, but yeah, she doesn't yelp with the needles. She just kind of chills out. <laughs> Look at that monster. Um, we were in the area of my pharmacy, so came and got some medication. While we were out and about, Hi, baby. You're so pretty. All right, so here's the situation. Biscuits, blood work, vitals, all of that came back perfect. So now, did honey eat the grapes? It's just not like honey to do that. She doesn't eat food off the table, like especially in that short amount of time. <laughs> so now I don't know if I need to go home and get honey and take her back to the place or I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go home. We're going to assess the situation. I know Biscuit's good, right? I'm not worried about Biscuit at all unless she starts to take a turn for the worse, you know, acting real lethargic, not eating, vomiting, any of that kind of stuff. So, and then I guess I'm just going to keep an eye on Honey and if any of that same stuff starts happening, it's just not, I, I, my gut is telling me Honey didn't do it. No more grapes in the household. That's just going to be a hard rule. And if you have dogs, well behaved or not you shouldn't have them in there either the vets were like no this is like like dogs literally do die over this they have to eat like a lot of grapes like a whole bag for it to be like super fast but they were like this is not one of those like old wives tale kind of things this is like very serious so let's go check on honey and see how she's doing but biscuit got so much action and activity at the vet she's wiped so she's just gonna sleep off the rest of the afternoon i hope um but man <laughs> what a day 